Sayed Amir was a successful businessman four years ago, with a monthly turnover reaching over a hundred thousand dollars. Now he owes others more than one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. He is one of thousands of traders who had to leave their shops and businesses in North Waziristan at three days' notice in 2014. That is when the military launched an operation against militants in Pakistan's tribal areas bordering Afghanistan. When the area was cleared and the traders went back in 2016, everything they had left behind was gone. When we got there, all the shops were gone. It was just level ground. I could not see the mosque or the shops. All I could see was the road and ground. Their requests for reparations went unheeded till this week, when they sent several hundred representatives to protest in capital Islamabad. Pakistan's authorities say since militants were also using some of the shops, they were damaged during the fighting and had to be demolished. Military spokesman Major General Asif Ghafoor said rehabilitation of the local population is a high priority and everyone who lost a shop in North Waziristan would be provided a replacement. While VOA interviewed him on camera, we could not use it since his team refused to give us an uncut version of the interview that was shot on their cameras. Meanwhile, the traders seem hopeful about the assurances given to them by the authorities. They are scheduled to meet with civilian and military representatives on Sunday to chart the way forward. Aisha Tanzeem, VOA News, Islamabad.